Imagine a black hole that is so massive, so bright, and so red that it stands out from the rest of the universe. A black hole that is 40 million times as massive as the sun, that powers a quasar that shines brighter than a trillion stars, and that is so red that it looks like a blood drop in the sky. A black hole that is so ancient, so distant, and so obscured that it challenges our understanding of how black holes formed and evolved in the early universe. Sounds incredible, right? Well, this is not a science fiction story. This is a real discovery that was made by the James Webb Space Telescope. In this video, we will tell you everything you need to know about this amazing discovery and why it is so important and interesting. We will explain how the JWST detected this extremely red supermassive black hole and what are the future prospects for studying these mysterious objects. So, stay tuned and get ready to explore the secrets of the early universe and its supermassive black holes. A team of astronomers led by Lucas Furtak and Adi Zitrin of the Ben Gurion University of the Negev, who were scanning the data that arrived for the Uncover program, a survey of the early universe using the James Webb Space Telescope. The Uncover program aims to find and study the first galaxies, stars, and black holes that formed after the Big Bang. As the astronomers were looking at the data using the NERCAM instrument, they noticed three very compact yet red-blooming objects that stood out from the rest. Their red dot appearance immediately led them to suspect that they were quasar-like objects, powered by supermassive black holes. To confirm their suspicion, they used another instrument of the James Webb, the NIRSPEC, which can measure the spectrum of light from an object and reveal its chemical composition, temperature, velocity, and redshift. The redshift can tell us how far away and how old the object is. The NIRSPEC confirmed that one of the red dots was indeed a quasar, with a very high redshift of 7.6, meaning that it was located 12.9 billion light years away from Earth, and that we were seeing it as it was 700 million years after the Big Bang. This quasar was also extremely red, with a color index of 2.4 meaning that it was twice as red as the typical quasars at that redshift. The near spec also revealed that the quasar had a very high luminosity, indicating that it was powered by a supermassive black hole of about 40 million solar masses. Webb and the team faced several challenges in detecting this extremely red supermassive black hole. First, the object was very faint and distant, and it required a long exposure time and a high sensitivity to be observed. Second, the object was very red, and it required a special filter and a high resolution to be distinguished from the background noise. Third, the object was very obscured, and it required a careful analysis and a sophisticated model to be characterized. This discovery is a remarkable achievement for the James Webb and the astronomers who made it. It is one of the first results from the Uncover program, it is also important for understanding the formation and evolution of supermassive black holes in the early universe, as well as their role in galaxy formation and cosmic history. Supermassive black holes are some of the most extreme and fascinating objects in the universe, and they are found at the centers of most galaxies, including our own Milky Way. They can have masses ranging from millions to billions of times that of the Sun and they can influence the properties and the fate of the galaxies that host them. However, we do not know how these supermassive black holes formed and grew in the first place, especially in the early universe, when the universe was young and dense. One of the main problems is that some of the supermassive black holes that we observe in the early universe seem to be too massive for their age, given the limited time and the available matter that they had to grow. We call them the problematic quasars, and they challenge our current theories and models of supermassive black hole formation and growth. This discovery of an extremely red supermassive black hole in the early universe may provide a clue to solve this problem. The extremely red color of the supermassive black hole suggests that it is surrounded by a thick layer of dust and gas, which blocks some of its light and makes it appear redder. This layer of dust and gas may also act as a fuel source for the supermassive black hole. 
allowing it to grow faster and more efficiently than other supermassive black holes. This layer may also act as a feedback mechanism for the supermassive black hole, regulating its growth and preventing it from becoming too massive and unstable. It may also have an impact on the galaxy that hosts the supermassive black hole, affecting its star formation, structure, and evolution. This extremely red supermassive black hole is a rare and unique object, and it may represent a transitional phase of supermassive black hole evolution that we have not seen before. It may also help us to learn more about the origin and the destiny of our own galaxy and supermassive black hole and how they are connected to the rest of the universe. This is only the beginning of a new era of exploration and discovery of the early universe and its supermassive black holes. James Webb and other telescopes and instruments have a lot of potential and promise for studying these objects in more detail and finding more of them. Webb will continue to observe the extremely red supermassive black hole and the other two red dots that were found to confirm their nature and to measure their properties more accurately. Webb will also use its other instruments to observe the extremely red supermassive black hole and other similar objects in different wavelengths of light to reveal more information about their structure, environment, and history. It will also conduct more surveys of the early universe, such as the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science, or SEERS survey, and the JWST Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey, or JADES, to find more examples of extremely red supermassive black holes and other types of supermassive black holes and quasars in the early universe. Astronomers who made this discovery and other researchers in the field have high hopes and expectations for the future of this research. They hope to learn more about the formation and evolution of supermassive black holes in the early universe and to test and refine their theories and models of supermassive black hole growth and feedback. They also hope to learn more about the role and the impact of supermassive black holes on galaxy formation and cosmic history, and to understand how the early universe shaped the present-day universe. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new and interesting about the extremely red supermassive black hole that was discovered by Webb in the early universe. This is a truly amazing discovery that opens up new possibilities and questions for the field of astronomy and the general audience. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Also, don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know what you think about this discovery and what other topics you would like us to cover in the future. Thank you for watching and see you next time.